Lieutenant Lyle Slocum enlisted in the United States Army Air Force in April 1941. This was only the beginning of his journey. In the months after his enlistment, he moved from station to station and base to base. Lieutenant Slocum ultimately transferred to Alaska and the Aleutian Islands on June 1, 1942. There he was assigned to the 11th Air Force, 28th Bombardment Group, and 36th Bombardment Squadron. On June 4, 1942, he and the rest of the crew on board the B-17 Flying Fortress attacked the Japanese cruiser Takeo and went down in the Pacific Ocean. When Lieutenant Slocum and the rest of the crew went to intercept the enemy fleet that morning, they had no idea that south of them there was a bigger battle at hand. The enemy fleet that they had intercepted had been part of Op Operation MI. Japanese Operation MI orchestrated the attack on Midway and as well as a smaller diversion attack on the Aleutian Islands. Mr. and Mrs. Slocum received the telegram containing the information that their son had been declared missing in action on June 14, 1942. It was their hope that the situation was, like many others, that the flyers were safe and just unable to communicate with their command. Sadly, this was not true. Lieutenant Slocum was officially reported deceased on December 4th, 1946. Lieutenant Slocum grew up on a farm near Menango, North Dakota. He and his family attended the Methodist Church in Menango. He was the oldest son in the family, but had no interest in taking over the farm, even from a young age. Lieutenant Slocum had always had a sense of humor, but a good work, work ethic. Lieutenant Slocum's younger brother, Gerald, spoke about a memory he had of Lieutenant Slocum. Gerald and Lieutenant Slocum had been in the barn and Gerald was swinging on a rope in the hayloft and got stuck. Lieutenant Slocum laughed and teased Jerry, but ultimately helped him down. After high school, he wanted to go to college and work to pay his way through. Lieutenant Slocum was involved in many clubs and was voted captain of the intramural basketball team he was a part of, which speaks for his character and how Lieutenant Slocum's peers saw him and his personality. In order to help support the war effort, Flora Slocum, Lieutenant Slocum's mother, traveled to Portland, Oregon in December of 1942 to work at the Navy shipyard there. Mrs. Slocum had family in Portland and thus stayed with them that winter. Lieutenant Slocum fought and died bravely to defending his country and following his dreams. For his sacrifice, he received the Air Medal and Purple Heart. He had come a long way from small town North Dakota and is admired greatly by his family and friends. He left behind his mother, father, and three siblings. Lieutenant Slocum's sister Janice and his, her husband Leo Zimmerman named one of their sons Lyle in honor of her brother. Lyle Zimmerman then went on to follow in his uncle's footsteps and joined the United States Army Air Force, Air Force in 1967. As men and women continue to fight for our freedom and the values our country holds, we remember and thank the veterans and other silent heroes that fought and died for the lives we have now. Rest in peace, Lieutenant Slocum. Thank you for your service to the United States of America. Thank you.